Hey Cancer, Kings, Queens, and everything in between. I am Austria, the Ambassador Queen. Today I'm going to be channeling the collective of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to deliver a general love message for the 28th through the 28th. So, and this is March, but I mean, time is, you know, all this is outside of time. It's energy, it's spirit. So when I see this message, that's when it's meant for you. All right, so. Okay, we have stay optimistic, religious factors, calling in your soulmate. And these are things that I ask for spirit to basically tell me what you need to work on um, during the time period that I set. honeymoon at the bottom it says enjoy um the bliss of holiday time together i keep asking for fucking singles and i just keep getting in things <laughs> it says children your love life is being affected by children yeah it is safe for you to love open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all engagement um, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Off the back, I'm getting that you guys possibly have children um, with whatever person this is regarding. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Romantic feeling. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, for a lot of you. Okay. I'm getting a sense that you guys are how can I say this? Okay, so you guys are in a situation where um for some of you the person that you you're with you may have um a lot of love for them and you may have children with this person but that isn't someone that you want to be with you want to move forward with someone else but i feel like you don't um you have a lot of stability in your current situation and that other situation wouldn't be it wouldn't be the same also i'm getting a sense of like needing time to yourself as well um, for others, it is more so of, you know, getting together with your child's parent. Even though I feel like that may be kind of like also due to like finances. They may have like, mm, it seems like possible struggle financially, possibly with the kids, possibly m multiple kids. They may not all be your kids or something like that. Also, I'm getting like, um, you need to stop um, being on social media as much. I'm getting some of you guys are maybe dealing with someone, um, like watching someone that um, you care about that uh, left you. Um, they could possibly um, be getting engaged or something like that. Okay, let's get some past energy. Oh my God, I so love. I did not need to stay on this path for so long. Mm -hmm. We have Aries energy with the Tower, King of Wands energy, Sagittarius, Three of Cups. Yeah. Um, the Page of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Mm. So yeah, something ended in a. Um, in the past abruptly something that you thought was definitely um, it's like um, you thought that this this was going to go far you know it's almost in a sense of like um, uh, feeling just strong uh, 
pleasure. It, it definitely was a lot of sex involved. Um, I'm seeing off, <laughs> like a lot of fire energy here. Also, um, Aries and Sagittarius energy here. So there's definitely a lot of um, passion involved in the past. Um, let's see what your challenge is for this week. I'm sorry, this month. Oh my gosh. Bear with me, guys. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. There, I'm about to say chalices. The Three of Wands. The Hierophant. Taurus energy there. Uh, the King of Swords. Gemini energy and Taurus energy here. Um, the Ten of Swords, more Gemini energy. So, I feel like you don't want to hurt someone. Or a lot of you, you don't want to hurt someone um, that you're with by, you know, backing out of your um, commitment with them. For others, it's a sense of like um, you're planning to be with someone regardless if they're in a commitment or not because you know that you love them and you want to be with them and you're heartbroken without them. A lot of you guys are struggling with letting that situation go that you felt so strongly about. Like some of them, I like for real. I'm getting like, um, yeah, it's something that was very sexual and that you feel like isn't over. It's like you feel like, um, it's um, it's not done yet. What, what doesn't cancer see coming in regards to love? Gemini time for my sex spirit. Okay. Okay, you don't see the Knight of Pentacles coming. So, someone's, you know, putting forth an offer of stability. Yeah, and it's it's your karma. Um, Libra energy here. And that Knight of Pentacles um, energy that is Taurus energy again. Mm. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Taurus at this time. Mm. Or a possible Aries as well, as they share that card. Um, Leo energy. There's a lot of fire up there. And the magician, Aries, Gemini. Yeah, you're seeing um, a relationship transform and it's because this is so many energy here with um, with this two of cups in the back. That's what you're dealing with at this time or that's what you don't see coming. An opportunity for love. I just got a strong sense for those of you that are dealing with someone um, and I don't know why you'd be looking at the singles, but for those of you that um, are kind of in a back and forth with someone or whatever, it's like you don't you don't see them being serious with you. And you felt like they were moving super slow and it was all sex and nothing more. And it's like they, they switch it up and they decide to come forward with a uh, stable offer of love. It's like they're really uh, determined there to get that to you. And all of this shit is divine, you guys. Like we have all of the major arcana cards out here. It's like you really like crave this person. Like you want to do a lot of shit to this person. Hmm. All right, let's see what possible signs will be coming to you in life. I'm sorry for those of you that don't have 
um, any prospects, <laughs> uh, maybe next month, or you can look in on the general love readings because, I mean, man, I can't make this shit up, like, I think after Mercury Electric right now, everybody's thinking about, like, how they had life fucked up, and they're making the <laughs> proper decisions to, like, get back with people because, man, like, all of the single readings I've done thus far is coming out like that, oh my goodness. We have the sun and we have Aries already, and that is Leo energy, the sun. Then we have Neptune there, Pisces energy, and we have Gemini energy at the back. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get some more messages from Spirit here. And I said some more, but yeah, it says only time will tell. Then it says new beginnings. It says a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Then it, we have my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. All right. And this is the one that said only time will tell. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Cancer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for spending time with me today. Um, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment, and let me know how the situation goes, um, plays out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!